you do it on that end, you probably won't get shocked unless you put your finger near the metal nipple. Oh, pull each one off and set it back on loose. Well, maybe not that loose. All loose now. Let's try test out the cylinders. What is wrong with this door? Well, she's still running like shit, so let's figure this out. Well, first thing I do is look down into the throttle body and see that both sides are squirting fuel, and they are. So now the test. Well, that's a good one. Oh. Take two. Oh, well, that's a good one. Oh, I'm not sure about that one. So that's a good one. That's a good one. Wow, oh, what the fuck? Try three. Oh, that's a bad one. See that? Oh, oh! See that one off. Well, that's a good one. That's a good one, or is it? Yeah, that's a good one. That's a bad one. Oh! Oh! Well, we definitely have two bad ones. That one and that one. That one and that one. So let's try checking the spark plug. Well, there's a good reason to be bad. All black and gooey. That'll never fire. The back cylinder on both sides is the one that's not running. Holy God, is that one ever bad? There's chunks of carbon even bridging the gap. <laughs> no wonder those didn't work. Oh well, I think I got two more. I managed to find two good spark plugs in that sea of junk. They're in now, we can try it out. Let's fire up now. Sounds somewhat better. Sounds a lot better, but I might be missing on one right now, so I'll have to do the test all over again. There could be one more followed one. Now for the bad news. It is running on all the cylinders. There's not a problem there. But, it don't sound good when you rev it. This thing definitely has some rod knock and crank knock. So this engine is fucked. It'll run for a while, but it's probably already spun the bearings. Oh well, who cares? Good enough for my farm. Oh, that sounds sick. But anyway, she's got all the power she needs to have. Running on all eight. Now to find another alternator. Hopefully I got one that fits. I do have more in case there's not one in that pile. Well, since my alternator is seized and it turns out I don't have exactly the right one to mount, I took the front end off my seized one and now I take that one apart and just bolt the front end on and everything will be fine. The pulley off, you need the air gun because you can't hold it while, it's try while you're trying to spin it with torque so that thing whips it off just fine. Ready for reinstallation now. I've just figured out where the front brakes are leaking. Follow this tube down to where it mounts to the frame. That goes to this Y connection for the front brakes. 
and it's rusted out right where it's attached to the frame. So, redneck repair at no cost, piece of copper pipe, and chop the rotten piece out and braise a little piece of this in between. Works perfect. There, got the brake line disconnected. Cut it off there, cut it off there. Little piece of copper. Now I just gotta braise it and reattach it. I disconnected it because you can't weld it while there's fluid running down. There, all welded up and done. See the little brass bobs. Just gonna take the tires off and bleed the air out of the calipers. Well, but behind the back seat, I found the air cleaner. So now we're ready for our first test with the front brake system, redneck brake system, and no rear brakes, and welded brake lines. Cool. Don't forget our assets. Got to protect what's precious. Can't go driving for very long because there's no belt on the engine. I wonder if the radio works. Hmm. Cool. Love it. Sweet ride. Ooh. Don't sound good. But anyways, no power steering. Oh, need two hands for this job. Power window don't work. Glass is cracked. Oh, she's a tire burner. Oh, a nice truck. Good for my farm. Ooh, lots of smoke. Ooh, brakes are working great. Skid. Yep, pulls a skid. No beer holders in this truck, so that'll have to do. Oh, she's smoking bad. Oh my god. What a shitty truck. <laughs> Don't call the environmental police on me with this one. Oh well, at least it runs. Look at that shit. Holy crap. Old Smoky. <laughs> I bet you it burns more oil than gas. What a piece of shit. With all the oil burning that thing's doing and the little bit of exhaust that was making out of the tailpipe and the feeling I got once it warmed up and how boggy it was, I bet you the catalytic converter's plugged. So now time for a redneck exhaust system. Cool. Well, that looks good for what ails you. Let's fire this bitch up and see what she sounds like now. <clears throat> wow, new light to an old motor. Love it. Now she ain't smoking so bad. Sweet. Gotta do something about that door. It don't open on the outside.
rocket ship now. 